Hello, I'm April Rovero. I would like to introduce you to my son, Joseph John Rovero III, fondly known as Joey. Joey was born on March 9, 1988 into a family that simply couldn't wait for him to arrive. Despite the 14-year age difference between Joey and his older brother, the two grew very close during the years and his dad and I simply adored him from the moment he was born. Joey loved sports right from the start and he was highly competitive. While soccer was his primary sport through 7th grade, football became his passion and he was a starter throughout his high school football career. Our family loves the outdoors and Joey's dad and I have great memories of the vacations we took with Joey in Alaska, the Canadian Rockies and various other national parks. Joey was a good student and I would say his favorite subjects were history and English. He was extremely creative and we were constantly amazed by the creative art, video and writing projects he shared with us. Joey was an extremely popular young man. He had such an engaging personality and he lit up every room he entered. Joey loved to laugh and he was known for his jokes, daring spirit and huge hugs. He was also non-judgmental and caring and many considered him their best friend. Joey began attending Arizona State University the fall after high school graduation. He had no problem adapting to college life. He joined a fraternity and had tons of new friends by the end of his first semester. Joey was looking forward to graduation and starting a new career in just five months when tragedy struck. On December 18, 2009, Joey died from an accidental overdose of prescribed medications he had mixed with alcohol during a college party. Instead of returning home for Christmas, Joey arrived from Arizona in a casket. We buried him the day after Christmas, with hundreds of his family and friends mourning his loss. The death of our beautiful son has completely shattered the lives of everyone who knew him. Knowing Joey's death was completely avoidable has made it that much harder for us to deal with.